Okay, we have started recording. I'll share the screen. And uh, we'll start. Okay, good morning. I think all of you know what is to be done since you've already been attending Zoom classes. Keep your Zoom mic and on mute and video closed because that will increase the bandwidth. You know, so there will be less fluctuation in your internet connection. Uh, you can ask me questions at the end of the session or, or you can even type them in the uh, chat box. Okay. Uh, if you're going to ask me questions in Malayalam, then you ask orally, then Sriju probably will help me with the uh, questions and the answers. Uh, Okay, let's start. Okay, since it's just the 5th of January, 2023, Happy New Year to all of you, your dear ones. Uh, may you be blessed with lots of joy, peace, fitness, money, income, etc., etc. Now, we normally do this uh, little bit of what we call overview. Even many of you are CCPFT students. You will remember we have done an overview, right? <clears throat> now, this is the first time that we're doing an overview for a Pilates course. And uh, more than Pilates, I've also combined a little bit of like a seminar. Because Pilates is not very popular in India. People do not know the, the importance of Pilates in uh, particularly in India. It's, it's important all over the world. So I thought let's be aware as we start the course on the 8th of January, that is on Sunday, we start the first uh, class. I thought I'll combine a bit of more of history of Pilates. Why, why is it so important? And so on. You know? so, that, so that overview also becomes some sort of a uh, seminar. Let's go to the first slide. Well, I don't want to spend too much of time on this. Gaia Fitness has been there since 1996. Or, and uh, we have more than 20,000 students now. Some of them, 3,000 or 4,000 are from Kerala itself. And we have lots of students, lots of faculty members. And uh, we teach all over the place. We teach in Colombo, Dubai, Kathmandu, Singapore, even United States. And in fact, by God's grace, if things go okay, we'll uh, first time we'll uh, also land land up teaching Nigerian students in Nigeria and also online. Uh, we do a lot of stuff, so I don't want to spend too much of time on that. You can always go to our website and see what we do there. Uh, as you know, we have seven different co vocation courses. Seven, not, not one. We are not just a personal trainer course. We do a lot of other things. And of course, most of you are probably CCPFT already students. We also do the fitness center management course. We do the bodybuilding course. In fact, bodybuilding coaching course is the only course not through the University of Mumbai because the university does not believe in bodybuilding. But probably this is the only bodybuilding coaching certificate where we have international faculty. And uh, Sriju, where good news is that Lenda, Mare, Kim, Mari, Paulin have confirmed just this morning via email that they got the visa to come to India. So Trishur, they're definitely there as per the scheduled uh, dates to do the International Bodybuilding Symposium. Okay, sir. Okay. That's good news. So I'll put that in the thing. Well, so I'll speak to... In fact, I have not had time to uh, inform uh, Bashir sir also about it. Uh, strength and conditioning course. I think some of you may have attended Ian Jeffrey's Game Speed in Mumbai, Bangalore or uh, Trishu. Uh, this is through now through two universities. Mumbai University, Assam University in Gauhati. And hopefully, by God's grace, I will not mention the name. Maybe a good university in Ke in Kerala itself. And this month, we also, sorry, in February, next month. Oh, sorry, this month, January. We also launch our certificate course for integrated yoga teachers. And of course, our high performance nutrition, which is not taught by 
local nutritionist is taught by two very famous people from uh, Canada. But today I'm not here to talk about our other courses. I am here to speak about our certificate course for integrated Pilates teachers. What does integrated mean? I'll explain to you in a couple of minutes. Uh, let's go. Now, what that integrated means? Integrated means, see, Pilates has got a lot of equipment, but they are very cheap equipment. They are not like your leg press machine or cardio machine, which costs lakhs and lakhs of rupees. You know, that's one thing you must keep in mind. Uh, quite often people ask me, sir, I'm not a personal trainer, but I do not have a gym, but can I start a Pilates studio? Of course you can. All that you need is one stability ball, maybe two mats. That is enough to start. Is there, do you have equipment in Pilates? Yes, but they're minor equipment. Not like huge, big leg press machines and you know, lats pull down machines and all that. We'll go through that a little uh, later. When we talk of integrated Pilates, that means we offer three different courses in Pilates. Our personal trainer, CCPFT course students may have attended a one-day practical introduction to Pilates on mat. That is not the Pilates teacher's training course. See, all these are teacher training courses. What you did as part of the CCPFT course is only, or what you will do perhaps, when Saima ma'am comes then uh, uh, this month to teach blended six and blended seven, is only introduction to uh, Pilates. There you will do only 30, 15, 20 exercises. While actually, if you do all these three courses, you will be doing more than 600 exercises. So, but the most important one is Pilates on mat. It's ordinary yoga mat or exercise mat or abs, you know, your abdominal exercise mat or whatever you call it. <clears throat> now, the thing is, we started, we brought Pilates to India in 2009. I will repeat, we introduced organized, structured Pilates education way back in 20, 2009, 13 years ago. And our first master trainer was, was a fantastic master trainer. Her name is uh, Anupama Gopal, who also conducted courses in uh, Kerala. She was trained by Frankie Puglisi, a lady by name Frankie Puglisi, whose partner was, and that name you must keep in mind, Lolita San Miguel. Lolita San Miguel, I'll, try, I'll type it here so you understand who these people are. You know, you can always Google a little later. Uh, Lolita. San Miguel. Who is this Lolita San Miguel? She is the world's only living teacher. The world's only living teacher to have been trained personally by Joseph Pilates. And that lady has trained our master trainer. So earlier it was Anupama Gopal and now it is Saima Khan, Saima Ma'am as you will call it. So what you teach, what we teach you in the Pilates on mat teacher training course or Pilates on ball or Pilates on reformer, that is the kind of Pilates which Joseph Pilates had taught Lolita herself. There are various different versions of Pilates. Like in yoga, for example, the original yoga which we will also be teaching now is called Patanjali's Ashtanga, Patanjali's Sutra, right? Ashtanga Yoga, Hatha Tattva, all that stuff. That is original traditional yoga. But if you look at the different versions, Vinyasa Yoga, Power Yoga, BKS um, Iyengar Yoga, all kinds of yogas are there. They are all interpretations of the original tradition. <clears throat> so it is what. So that's one thing which is common to yoga and Pilates. It is best to first learn the traditional yoga or Pilates. Then you can even develop your own school of thought, your own principles. Your Sorry, not principles, but interpretation, the way you apply those principles. And one principle has in Pilates is that you must always start with Pilates on mat. After you practice, master those 150 exercises, then you go to Pilates on ball. After you become master in those ball exercises, then you go to reformer. After reformer, do you have equipment? Of course, you have equipment called Cadillac, for example, or the chair, okay? The ladder, lots of other equipment, minor, small equipment, not minor in the sense, very important equipment, but not very expensive, not very big in uh, size. So anybody who does Anybody who does all three of these exercise uh, certificate courses with us gets 
this certificate called integrated Pilates teacher training course. Okay. So, but the foundation is Pilates on mat. Now, Pilates on mat is the course that we are going to be doing now, starting on January 8th online. That I'll come to a little later. We start on January 8th, this Sunday. And sometime in March or February, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the dates that we'll check up a little later. Is there on the screen? We'll be teaching in, in Kerala, that's in Kotamangalam in Ernakulam. We'll be teaching in Gurgaon in, in uh, Haryana, that's Delhi actually. And the third place is we are teaching in Mumbai. Okay. And like all our courses, this is also a blended course. You start with online, then you have a lot of home study, and then you come to come and do the practical training together. Now, this course. But let us start from the general information to the specific information. There, most of you have done CCPFT here, so I will not spend too much of time. But as you know, there are different types of fitness. There are 16 types of fitness. There are eight methods of training. And Pilates comes in the second category of those training methods. The first category is weight training. The second category is known as body weight training or special light resistance training. So Pilates is very important then. Now, apart from that, as you know, there are different types of careers in fitness. It is not just becoming a gym trainer or a personal trainer in the gym. Those, that market is very small. You should look at group trainings, sports conditioning, corporate fitness, and it's going to banks or hotels, you know, to, to teach to, uh, fitness there. School fitness programs, this is really catching up now, school fitness. Lifestyle consulting, where you do teach exercise, nutrition, plus meditation and all that. Exercise therapy, uh, fitness for special populations. But one thing is for sure, all these exercise plans, all these fitness careers, Pilates is common. The most common thing, of course, is dumbbell barbell, weight training. Perhaps the second most common type of training for all kinds of fitness is Pilates. That is the main reason why Pilates today is becoming more and more and more popular even in India. Okay. Uh, as far as population is concerned, you know what is population of India. In fact, on 20th of May 2022, our population was 140 crores. That was how many months ago? Uh, maybe uh, six months ago. So today, probably we are 1 uh, 145 crores or something like that. But look at your market population. Forget this special population, 6 to 15. Don't worry about that. But look at the age group from 15 to 64. 67% of India is this your fitness market target. If that's your fitness market target. Then you also have the urban population. People who, are in, un, unfortunately or fortunately, most of India is now urban and semi-urban. So that is 35%. So look at the market for fitness. If I was in somebody else's place, I would not think of going to UAE or Australia or Canada. India is enough to make lots of money. I repeat, look at this highlighted thing. Age group of 50 to 64 is 67% of India's population. And on 20th of May 2022, our population, imagine, was 140 crores. 67% is our market. And when you combine that with 16 fitness types and 8 training methods, then you realize what the potential is all about. And I to repeat, to uh, come close this particular slide, all the 16 fitness types, all different fitness careers that you can think of, Pilates is the second most common exercise format. First, of course, is weight training. Now, I don't want to spend too much of time on careers and courses, but yes, if you are not really keen on person. I see that happening very often. I want to go to Australia, so I will become a personal trainer. But the same fellow also does a plumber's uh, course or a beautician's course. I want to go to Middle East. I am not very comfortable with fitness, but I will do a fitness course. That's, that, that is not common, but it is un, uh, uncommonly common. But one thing for sure, like in personal training, here in Pilates also, you must have a liking for physical movement. If you do not like exercise, 
or sport or physical activity what is physical activity mean i have to go to the bank i can go by my car or on my scooter or an auto rickshaw but i prefer to go walking or i do all the housework myself if i am asking someone to clean my house i start cleaning my house that is physical activity so first thing in physical movement is physical activity then comes exercise and finally sport one of these you should have a like and the other thing more important here is you should have that uh, this personality are you sociable are you willing to help people because who comes to you in fitness somebody who needs your help right in many ways like a doctor i want your help so i am coming to you will you be able to help me so these are the some important things that you to keep in mind before selecting the course of of uh, or a course or a career in either personal training or pilates these are common kinds of thing but i thought i must remind this to you guys physical condition now what is physical physical condition mean you don't have to be a bodybuilder or a marathon runner to become a pilates teacher in bangalore we have guru raj sp his name is guru raj sp he is physically challenged He has polio on his left leg, I think, or right leg. He did our Pilates course in the year 2010. He was a national power lifter in the handicapped uh, category. We have two blind trainers who have done Pilates also. So physical challenge is not as important as the fact that you should have mentally and physically you, should, you want to learn something and share that knowledge with uh, people. so this is something you have to keep in mind i will repeat first and foremost you should have liking for physical movement if you don't like physical activity excess sport that fitness as a career generally and pilates particularly is going to be a little difficult that's one secondly i said i said, uh, i mentioned are you sociable are you friendly are you do you want to help people and then i has mentioned what physical condition i gave you the example of guru raj he is amazing guy He's a fantastic guy. I mean, when he came, he said, "Sir, can I do Pilates?" And at that time, Anupama Gopal was teaching, and she said, "Why not?" And he he did very well in the his uh, class. We also have two blind, as I mentioned, two blind physiotherapists who have done Pilates, and they teach. One of them has gone to England to teach now. Salman, he has gone. He is now in UK. He converted his EFS level four into a sim spa, and he is teaching Pilates in uh, in England. One more thing I want to mention here is that you need to have language skills. communication skills you are must, most of you here mother tongue is malayalam mine is was originally kannada now it's marathi uh, somebody speaks only punjabi i mean none of us came born with english language but we have to learn we must know practical working knowledge of uh, english i never went to a, i mean first 5 6 years of my life i went to a marathi medium school but unfortunately english is the medium for technical instruction technical knowledge but forget that language part you can speak in malayalam and communicate you can speak in kannada punjabi assamese bengali whatever it is but the important thing is you need to learn to communicate and the reason i'm specifically mention here in pilates in pilates particularly more than personal training is that you have to keep teaching throughout the session in personal training what happens you know you can you can have a, let's say this is a, a this is a a dumbbell you know i do i re, i curl the dumbbell i do my bicep curl 10 times and you know how to do it and you will do it you will copy what i am doing right in pilates it's a little different you have to keep teaching keep communicating in pilates and that's one of the reasons that's the main reason why pilates teachers earn 30 to 40% more than a typical personal trainer and of course budget of time all that is important now what pilates courses are available in india there are lots of courses available i have only mentioned some start pilates balance body basi all these are actually equipment manufacturers they are world famous they are world famous brands in the equipment and each one of them started their own training program so that the uh, trainers could teach on their equipment you know it's like uh, well it's nike reebok have done all that i mean lot of them have a training program so that hopefully those trainees who have been trained by reebok or nike or balance body i mean across not necessarily only in pilates they can help promote their uh, sales nothing wrong with it 
are there any Indian courses now? Well, I can think of uh, two or three. I'm sure Delhi, Chennai also have these kind of Indian Pilates uh, teacher training programs. BFIT is in Pune. Australian Physiotherapy and Pilates Institute, APPI. I'm not sure where they teach, but they were, apparently they are teaching in India. And of course, our Mumbai is very famous. She's a star. Yasmin Karachiwala also has got her own training program, I believe. But as I mentioned, there are many more courses available in India. You must inquire and find out which suits you more. Now, what about our course? We brought Pilates to India in the way back in 2009 with the help of Pilates Institute of America. I think somebody's uh, mic is uh, should be muted, please. Somebody's mic should be muted. Yeah, thank you. Pilates Institute of America, the name of the lady who was who ran that thing is Frankie Puglisi. Of course, the company that, that institute has closed down now. Anuja, oh, that's the reason. Okay, one minute. The lady who ran this is Frankie Puglisi, who at that time was working with So uh, Lolita San Miguel. Okay. So we tied up with them in the way 2009 and we taught across India. I mean, with Mumbai, Kerala, Bangalore, Delhi. Uh, we also did a couple of courses in Chennai and so on and so forth. In 2014, Pilates Institute of America closed down for personal reasons. And then we tied up. And then we tied up with BPCA. Bombay Physical College, about Cultural Association College of uh, Physical Education, University of Mumbai. Okay. And in 2017, we tied up with EREPS for level four accreditation. Now, when we speak here, there's one main name, important name I forgot here, which I should mention now. Here is uh, in India, Reebok is doing quite a lot of work. So I forgot to mention their name. There are so many others who apparently are teaching Pilates and things like that. Only difference in our case is that we came to India in 2009 with the Pilates of America, owned by Frankie Puglisi, who was working with Lolita San Miguel. So when Anupama Gopal went, spent some time with them, she actually was introduced to the way Joseph Pilates himself would have trained people. And when now in 2018, when Saima Khan went and worked for some while with Frankie Puglisi, she came back with a similar traditions. 2015, we tied up with University of Mumbai. That is through the PPC, a college of physical education. Now, people ask me, why did you try with university? This, we tried up with the university to maintain teaching standards. There's no doubt about it. In India, we don't have a fitness association or a Pilates association which can tell me, okay, Dilip, your, uh, your course is of this standard, not that. You know, things like that. So we wanted to maintain our teaching standards. So we tied up with the University of Mumbai. And in 2017, <clears throat> obviously because our course is good, European Register of Exercise Professionals gave us level four accreditation. Now, what does this mean? Since there are a lot of students from Kerala, if you are EREPS level four personal trainer course, you get full qualification to the UAE, UAE reps, Qatar reps, SimSpa in England, Australia, you're all that, right? Similarly, if you do Pilates EREPS level four through after doing the, our Pilates on mat, then you get UAE reps full qualification, full category A certification for Pilates trainer. That's the thing. Now, both these people, University of Mumbai and EREPS, they have helped us not only improve, maintain our standard, but improve our standard. In fact, there's one more thing I'm going to tell you. I'm not, I will not tell you with whom. All of our master trainers are now being retrained, not trained, retrained, sorry, are being upgraded, updated in Pilates over the next six months. So we keep training our master trainers on a regular basis. I, I said, you know, I was not as if somebody was trained in 2018, so we continue with that same knowledge. No, we keep up upgrading ourselves. Let's go to the next slide. How do you select the course? I am not here to tell you to do my course. Our courses are good, but there are also other good courses. 
So first thing, I will quickly go through this since there are some who have done the CCPFT, so I will it's like boring for them. But there are some who have not done our work, any course with us. First and foremost, who has authorized that course? In our case, it is we are with the University of Mumbai. Do we have national accreditation? In India, we don't have the national accreditation system, but we have the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, which looks after university education, higher, higher education as it is called. And because we are partners with the BPCI College, we are also supervised by NAC, like any other university in the world, in the country or any other college in the country. Is there any national fitness association? No, we do not have fitness associations for Pilates or for personal training. And sports associations are not fitness associations. Who has authorized internationally? Well, in our case, it is European Register of Exercise Professionals. And right now, as I speak to you, we have already applied to the NCCA in USA to give us accreditation. So if you're at this level of education, we would like to take our education that much higher so that you get better education, right? Who has authorized Saima? In our case, at the moment, it is Saima Khan, the master trainer. She has been trained by us as a master trainer. She has done focus awards. This focus award is very important. Level three tutor and assessor training program, like Bashir Sir and the others who have done it. And we did this in the height of uh, COVID in May or June 2020. We did not have enough money to pay for the uh, training, but we did it because if we are trained how to teach, Focus Award did not teach us how to do Pilates or how to do personal training. They taught us how to teach. Because in India, if you want to become a school teacher, you need to have a degree in education, right? A bachelor in education. If you want to become a physical education teacher, you need to have a degree, degree in, in physical education. Similarly for us also, to teach, we are also, we should, to teach you, I should be taught how to teach you. So we are authorized not only by these people and also not only focus award, but also active IQ. In fact, I'm one of the four tutors and assessors trained by active IQ way back in 2014, four years before reps came to India. What about the faculty standards? Our standards are very high. The other people I really do not. Content, do we teach only theory? No, we teach a lot, lot of practicals. We also do a lot of blended stuff. And most important, this is something most students will agree with us. We do a lot of free mentoring and guidance after enrollment and certificate. 90% of the students are not in touch with me personally. That's okay. As long as they are happy and they are doing well. But whenever they have a guys, uh, query, they are always be in touch with me directly. And I give them free advice. Because one thing I have is 47 years of experience in fitness. So I'll always share that with you. In most other academies, certification after certification you say bye bye tata all the best the man the relationship ends in our case whether it is pilates or personal training the relationship starts the day you get up for your certification that's one thing you guys have to keep in mind okay and that's the reason why our courses whether personal training pilates because of erefs level four no doubt simspa in uk and soon ncci we have applied for the accreditation can fit pro Australia, they all accept our courses, but of course, each country has its own separate uh, rules. You don't, for example, if you go to Australia, you don't have to do a full course in Australia, but you'll have to give some exam. In UAE, in Dubai, you don't have to do any exam, no course, but as soon as you present our certificate, you get UAE reps level uh, category A. They don't call it level three or level four, they call it category A. So this is the things that you guys must uh, keep in mind in selecting the courses, but having discuss the general kind of a thing. Let's go to our main course. That is the reason why we are here. Pilates on mat teacher training course. Okay. <clears throat> people ask, the first thing we start, people ask is, sir, I have done yoga. I have Pilates. I have done yoga. I know Pilates. Is yoga the same as Pilates? Is Pilates the same as yoga? We'll discuss that orally later on when you probably some of you may ask me questions. Who started Pilates? It is not pilots, by the way. It is not pilots, it's Pilates. It's a German name. Joseph Pilates was born in 1883. And uh, at a young age, he went to England. He left Germany and went to UK. And around World War I, World War I in a sense, around 19, the war started in 1914. 
but around 1913 1914 because he was a german citizen he was arrested by the british police and when he was in the jail when he was in the prison he began to use his bed as a equipment which today is known as a reformer he then used the water barrel today we also is known as a barrel and the chair and the ladder so whatever was there in his prison he used that equipment to start training his own body because as a child he had asthma and all kinds of uh, diseases and his father introduced him to little bit of yoga little bit not much but mostly it was greek gymnastics so when people say that is pilates is same as yoga no the answer is no there are some physical poses which may look like yoga yoga sirs okay what did he call it when he was alive pilates called it body controlology what do you mean by body controlology which is that area of your body which controls your body the core right it is a core it is a core which controls your body and what do you mean by core before pilates time the core meant only your abs a six pack or 12 pack or nine pack or whatever it is it is joseph Very pilates nice. who said sir the man of the tumne kuch 6 percent interest mike 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 please uh he called it controlology because he always believed that the spine our spine the vertebral column controls the posture of your body and therefore he called it controlology only after he died in 1967 all his students who were known as the elders e l d e r s there were seven or nine elders the youngest one and one who is still living is uh, lolita san miguel they in his honor named that form of exercise as pilates well in 1914 1915 or whatever it is 1920 or 1925 between the two wars world war 1 world war 2 he shifted to uh, new york it just happened that he opened a studio somewhere near broadway street or broadway avenue or whatever it's called a center for ballet dancers in those days and because pilates requires a fair amount of flexibility and also develops flexibility most of his earlier clients were women most of his earlier clients were women but please remember that when he came out of prison after his internship internment in uh, england his first clients were bodybuilders weight lifters and boxers it was not ladies in fact in india one thing is no sir uh, pilates is done only by ladies na they ask you all kinds of questions the answer is no pilates developed body controlology for bodybuilders boxers particularly and some weight lifters when you went to new york and he opened a studio it just became more accessible for ballet dancers to attend his uh, studio but and i've seen it myself i think anita talluri is here from very senior pilates teacher in india she will research uh, show that lot of these big built fellows come to the pilates class and after 3 minutes their hands start shaking and they actually collapse it's very interesting so this is not a macho kind of a thing does not look macho but it requires a lot of strength and flexibility in fact acsm the world scholarly the most scholarly research oriented uh, education provider they say that stretching as long as work out pilates best solution for the purpose of stretching so anyway we'll go into that now a question that comes up as i mentioned is is yoga the same as pilates answer is no pilates has got uh, sorry yoga has got a longer history It goes back to 2200 years old and in fact if you if you want to do our yoga course dr gharote who will come and teach you will actually show you original manuscripts with him in sanskrit and pali language which are at least 500 years old so yoga is much much more ancient older than uh, pilates pilates started only around let's say in the 1920s in that sense number one number two it's a fact for joseph pilates the spine and the core was important everything was core centric okay he believed in the posture the spine the spinal position the imprint the scoop and things like that those those are his basic uh, principles and the other principle was or is of pilates breathing is called horizontal breathing or it's also called intercostal breathing <clears throat> what about yoga yoga doesn't believe in specifically like the spine or the 
good. Nor, by the way, yoga does not have any specific breathing pattern. Yoga teachers recommend certain breathing patterns. Now, somebody the other day when I said this, he said, "Sir, but in Surya Namaskar, you are supposed to exhale and inhale at certain at certain phases of the Surya Namaskar." But Surya Namaskar, by the way, is not a yoga sir. Surya Namaskar is not part of traditional yoga. Okay, who developed uh, Surya Namaskar? It was the Peshwas, P E S H W A S, the Maratha Brahmin and Maratha rulers who ruled from Pune in the uh, 17th and the 18th uh, century. It was developed to develop so that their soldiers could be physically conditioned. So remember one thing: Yoga uh, Surya Namaskar is not strictly part of. Uh, yoga and therefore the breathing pattern that you follow in your surya namaskar is not need not be conducted do not be followed in yoga when we uh, dr gharote uh, teaches in kerala kotamangalam and of course gurgaon he will teach you this first one of the things is this that breathing is not important so a lot of other principles come into the picture here so that's one thing you might guys keep in mind that and most important of course please google put the search word Difference between Pilates and yoga. The moment you put this, you know what you'll get: physical postures. Nobody speaks of the mental thing. Yoga is not meant only for physical postures. Apart from these physiological or kinesiological that, uh, muscles, like for example, the deep muscles are hard at work. True. For example, I can write one name here. Let me search for the denotation. Some just keeps disappearing sometimes. Ah, there it is. Anita may remember that name of that one of the deep muscles. Multi. It does. A muscle which goes along your vertebrae like a creeper, keeping the spine erect. This muscle is one of the muscles that is you have to consciously work on in Pilates. In yoga, you don't work on abdominal, you know, your rectus abdominis or multi multifidus or whatever it is. So this is one of the few. One of the few differences that we have. Okay, so this is something you guys have to uh, keep in mind. Uh, Pilates is more functional from a physical, structural point of view. Yoga is for meditation. All the yogas and the uh, yoga poses are poses in which you do a lot of meditation. It's not necessarily religious. It is spiritual, but it's very secular. There's no doubt about that. Okay, and the other thing that you guys have. To, you keep in mind this pilates never spoke in terms of meditation or components like or let's say the, uh, the role of the mind in pilates yes you have to focus and con con uh, concentrate just the way as i focus and concentrate on speaking to you just as you are ho hopefully listening to me and concentrating on what i am saying that was all that pilates expected but in yoga traditional yoga it has it has to be ashtanga, eight limbs, dhyan, or mental aspects also come into yoga. It's not just physical poses. So that's one thing you guys have to uh, keep in mind. Okay, now that we have gone through, quickly we'll come to the last slide before we go into the specifics. Benefits and applications. Well, why do I mention this benefits and application of Pilates? The reason is simple. This slide will give you an idea of what you can earn as income. If you teach uh, any Pilates or pilots, as many people call it, as what you can learn free of cost on YouTube, that's not Pilates. Okay. For, for one thing, it's a total body strength and stretching program. It makes the body it's stronger from inside out. In the sense, why inside out? There are two meanings here. You start using the deep muscles, which we normally don't do. For example, your uh, transverse abdominis, your uh, multifidus. All of us, if I tell you to contract a pectoralis major, I'm sure you can do or the biceps uh, brachii. But what if I tell you to focus, concentrate, close your eyes, concentrate and and contract that multifidus muscle in, the, in your back. I doubt whether you can do it in the first three or four sessions, but afterward you can you can easily do it. So his Pilates believed in starting from the deeper muscles and then coming out. Okay, that is his idea of inside out. 
now to do those to contract those particular muscles like multipedis particularly you need a lot of men mental concentration not meditation but mental focus mental concentration i can't be sitting and talking to you and trying to ad admit my you know contract my uh, multipedis uh, muscle so other thing is it can be done as i said earlier if somebody wants to start a pilates studio you need 10 feet by 10 feet space you do not have to spend 30 40 50 lakhs 3 crores in a weight training equipment you need a one mat maybe one ball after you start making money then you can buy one reformer then you add a chair then you add a barrel you understand there is not it's not an expensive thing it is versatile versatile means it can be done by people of my age it can be done by people of your age it can be done by my mother who is age 97 it could be done by anybody it is excellent for medical rehab we'll study a little a little later now it can help you develop, yes tighten your tummy tone up your muscles it won't give you a six pack but it definitely tighten the six pack improve your posture tighten your buttocks help you sleep better of course naturally like any other exercise you your happy hormones flush your brain right it helps you develop stabilize cholesterol levels because pilates also has got a an aerobic potential to it and of course stabilize blood pressure because you are exercising your muscles that much more of vascularization that much more of equal distribution of uh, blood and so on and so forth this is something important and this is the main thing which differentiates yoga from pilates or pilates from yoga this is what joseph pilates said if your spine is inflexibly stiff at the age 30 you are old if it is completely flexible at age 60 you are young so this is basically of course he is famous for his quotations please google them and find out but this explains what his philosophy was and this young lady here is saima khan our current master trainer who was trained by who worked with franky puglisi who in turn worked with lolita san miguel who is the young is the only living teacher to have been trained by joseph pilates okay we go to the next slide i think we're coming quick i don't want to spend too much of time here but one thing is for sure it is great for medical rehab it is fantastic for medical rehab it can be done prenatal postnatal you can also have specialization i mean i mean in india we have not done it but for example horse riders horse riders or football players or hockey players you can actually design pilates protocols for them and it does not did not be on a reformer or a cadillac or a tower and a barrel or the term i'm just talking in terms of the mat and the ball all of us can afford it right so that's one thing you must you guys must keep in mind i don't want to spend too much of time on this particular slide uh, it's great for tennis for all kinds of sports now what do we teach and how do we teach now now we are coming to what we are going to start on january 8 first section of our program is going to be online we are doing it simultaneously online from mumbai for students in gurugram kotumang i mean they could be anywhere you can be in from assam gauhati i think or two or i think somebody is joining from uh, gauhati that's fair enough you can be anywhere in the country nigeria hopefully by god's grace nigerians to our trainers will join us in this uh, program gurugram kotumangalam that's what we have uh, announced so from january 8 to february 20 monday wednesday friday 2 to 4 pm will be having online classes as usual as all of many of you know we will always provide you the youtube links and i'm very proud of that ever since covid started in march 2020 till date i think we have more than 3000 or 2 i think 2900 uh, video you recordings uploaded on youtube for our uh, students what will we teach online things which normally you would have to travel and sit in the class history of pilates philosophy of pilates human anatomy physiology now this is important you will say sir i have already i am already personal trainer abhi mujhe iska lena dena kya hai i have already become i am already a personal trainer no your anatomy and physiology will be the context of pilates only for example you may talk of quadriceps of your quad quadriceps in personal training or you can talk of latissimus dorsi but do you talk about uh, do you do you do we study about multifidus no so there are specific pilates oriented muscles where we will discuss that that okay 
Same thing with kinesiology. Ah, it should be, sorry, this is not the word. I'm sorry, this is my mistake. Uh, why is that thing taking time? This should read as bio mechanics, not kinesiology. It, it's come twice, sorry. Fitness assessment and periodization. Now, why is this important? This is taught in our personal trainer class. Whether you are a personal trainer who is going to use Pilates on his client, or you are a nutritionist, or you are a dancer, or a doctor, we have orthopedic surgeons who are a Pilates students who want to use Pilates for on their patients or clients. How do you do the planning of the exercise? How many times a week? Every day? No, Pilates is not done every day by the way. You know, so there are specific, we'll discuss that and see how we can integrate Pilates with personal training. Pilates for special populations, as I mentioned in the earlier thing, for diabetics, for, uh, uh, you know, for all kinds of, the way that we study special populations in personal training, same thing, we'll apply the principles of Pilates there. And Pilates for sport, I have mentioned that earlier in the earlier slide, Pilates psychology, sorry, exercise psychology, you guys should know that. In fact, probably Blended 6 has done it. Blended 7 in Kerala, you have to do it. The other batches, you have to do it. Unless you are good at motivating the student clients, you are not going anywhere. You and I are sitting in this seminar because you and I love fitness. We love that pain. We call that pain a pleasurable pain. Right? Whenever I do, uh, after I do my chest workout, I like to keep pressing like this because I like that pain. But all the all your clients do not like it. Today, because of COVID or whatever it is, it is difficult to get clients. So how do you motivate that client to keep to stick with you? That is extremely important. So this is going to be a part of, although EREP standards of Pilates do not include this section, these sections, I'm going to put it up. Uh, we have inclu included it. And online, we'll also be doing not 10 or 15 or whatever. We'll be doing 145 exercises. 145 exercises we'll be doing online. I'll show you how it is done. After this online program is over, you have to... Yes, I'm sorry. Apart from this, you'll also be doing... Uh, 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 also included in this is your... Our first aid and CPR and aid. Okay, it's included in the, in the fee. If you want detailed syllabus, you're welcome to go to our uh, uh, website, Gaia Fitness Academy slash Pilates on mat. You'll get the information. Or call me on WhatsApp me. I'll send you the details. So this is going to be online. As soon as we start January 8th, maybe by Jan 15, maybe by Jan 15, we will start home assignments. Yes, Jan 15 to March 15. So whether you are in Nigeria, Lagos, as Gawati, Aizol, Kerala, you will be given a lot of lot of home studies, home assignments. We want to start practicing so that when you come for the practical offline class, we are not wasting time on things which are automated done at home. Okay. And as Anita Ji will tell you, in the old days, in 2010-2009, our Pilates course was only of three days. It included everything, but that is not the way to do it. Now we have expanded this whole thing. Total number of hours is around 300. That is the minimum requirement, by the way. That includes home study, home practice and all that. Okay. So at home, you'll be doing practice. It's called guided. But look, you have to send videos to us. We will correct it and send it to you. Video recordings of exercise that you practice, or we want you to send it to us. There'll also be a theory MCQ exam online. What is offline? That, as I mentioned here, Burga, February 23 to 26, four days. Only practical training and teaching practice. Mumbai, um, uh, Kotamangalam is uh, March 2nd to March 5. Mumbai is 23rd to 26th of March. We practice all the foundations. See, Pilates said 12 exercises are what you call foundation. They will have to master them and then we'll do the remaining variations. Teaching practice, how to teach. We are not here to develop you, help you develop a six pack. We are here to teach you to help you become better teachers, right? So we want to see how you teach. And a practical teaching exam, a typical here. This was the last time that happened. I will not. She is being examined. 
it's a mumbai batch she is being examined you know so she first demonstrates and then she teach so this is how it is done okay for me this exam is more important not your theory exam so this is how she demonstrate the uh, explains what the, uh, the uh, exercise is all about the purpose of the exercise she demonstrates it then she makes them do it and she corrects them that is something a small typical example of our last batch in mumbai okay what do we give as learning resources as textbooks we give you a theory two textbooks in fact e books hard copies are not given offline uh, that's one thing secondly offline bilingual teaching now of course i am speaking to all of you in english but obviously in kerala it will be english malayalam saima ma'am will teach in english and so i think uh, mini or uh, mini or uh, p will uh, translate in malayalam same thing we'll do in in uh, in gurga we don't need anybody to translate because saima speaks excellent hindi right if you were to do it in uh, uh, bangalore probably as yes, we find we need to speak in kannada but these are the different languages in which we are prepared to teach wherever the uh, for, for example if we do we have enough number of students in kolkata we'll do the, they can join the online course the practical training will be done in english hindi and bengali okay are there practical training manuals well the book the not manual as much as the typical ppts you will get and you will get 150 video clips we have shot for pilates and math in the early days we never gave we just gave one textbook and the matter entered it now we give actually videos we have shot over the last uh, several years Uh, as you know, our personal trainer students get one thousand five hundred exercise videos. One thousand five hundred in Pilates for this particular course, you'll get one hundred and fifty. You get forty-five or fifty for uh, ball, and the remaining three hundred or something like that for the reformer. But that, as I said, first complete your Pilates on mat, then we'll progress to Pilates on ball, and then Pilates on reformer. Uske baad, then we'll see. There's there's a sky's limit. who has approved our syllabus of course it's a mumbai university and ereps european registrar of excellence professionals who is a certifying authority it's a bpcf on behalf of university of mumbai and gayo ourselves is it accepted nationally and internationally yes thanks to ereps we are accepted in 45 countries and a lot of people, uh, boys and girls from kerala will want to know this our qualification certificate and ereps accreditation certificate is equal to ua reps category pilates trainer this pt is not for personal trainer but for personal uh, sorry pilates trainer card do we after pilates that what would you like to do uh, uh, raise it once sorry after you do pilates with us can you do other courses with us of course you can do strength and conditioning you can do our uh, high performance nutrition uh you can do all kinds of things with us so we have lots of other courses we are not a one course kind of a uh, academic yes of course we uh, offer free mentoring i am very proud of it how to develop your once you are done a pilates certificate course then how do you develop your business i will give you the guidance whether you want to take my advice is another thing but i am always there to help you for example it's not just doing personal training going to somebody's house or calling people in the gym why not why don't you go to a, a a hospital for example or school but what kind of proposals do you give those people how do you promote yourself all that at least you will guarantee uh, help i cannot guarantee success how can you become the de better deliver knowledge you ultimately see you are not just a trainer you are becoming a guru so to that extent we will help you develop your communication skills through that exercise and fitness psychology program okay what is the fee now it's this is too funny uh i think when anita did the course in 2012 or 2010 she paid 27000 rupees <laughs> today we charge 25000 rupees 2000 rupees less but yes we have to add gst Like a the meeting, please mute your phone. My
please mute the mic thank you so much thank you so much so we are actually cheaper than what we were doing earlier number one we are delivering much more knowledge that time in those days we gave one black and white book that black and white book continues but we give you dvds and lots of other stuff okay so the fee is now 29500 which you pay if you feel like paying three monthly installments no there are no discounts sorry and of course for if you want to get that ereps level 4 pilates trainer certificate you have to do rpl but if you already have rpl you don't have to do the uh, thing again okay uh, is it available across india yes it is across available across india in fact some of you for example theoretically speaking as nahi hone wala it is not going to happen but somebody does park program in uh, online sitting in gurgaon but wants to attend in kotamangala no problem because that's the knowledge being delivered is the same it will be in english and the local language so that should not be much of a problem as i already mentioned many times we are accepted in 45 countries including ua reps qatar simspa uk you name it we are very much there uh, how do we teach now i don't know who was playing on the whiteboard at this yellow thing which i cannot delete anyway so uh, yeah. here it is i don't know why i'm not able to play this uh, thing uh, let me see one minute my network is also bad ha ah. ha ah. these are the videos you will get 145 the video is playing funny it's because of the internet connection anyway you will get the videos plus also you will get these teaching cues in writing okay so you don't really have to uh, refer to the e books that we will give you the two textbooks you will get don't have to worry about just focus on the teaching cues here and the variation that are uh sorry where am i going okay i'll go back because there's a problem the internet will go back the same one one minute huh? just a second give me a sec when anyway, i two only two slides are left now so i'll finish them quickly okay. yeah there we are can you see this part of our screen hello yes, sir. can you see yes, the sir. screen yeah yes. okay yeah yes, okay. Yes, okay. okay there's there's some problem here uh, can you see this uh, screen called swimming swimming prep yes sir yes, yes sir. sir now i am not able to open it because of internet connection but let me see whether this works yeah okay this is these are the kind of videos we'll go out to you 100 Uh, okay so this is what we saw an example a second example of our uh, 
exercise videos. See, apart from these 145 or I think 149, I'm not sure, uh, exercise videos for Pilates or Mat, you'll also get a fair amount of video supported uh, lectures in anatomy physiology related to kinesiology. Are, are related to uh, Pilates, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you have done in the personal training course is not going to be repeated here. As I gave the example of that muscle called multifidus, we are focusing on multifidus or maybe the rectus abdominis or the transverse abdominis or whatever, the deep muscles. That's one thing you guys have to keep in mind. But it's a, that, that, that is why officially, officially, unless you're a personal trainer, you cannot do the Pilates course internationally, whether you're in America or Europe. Unless you're a personal trainer, you cannot do the Pilates course. Don't have to worry about that. Idea is that you should have the basic knowledge, <clears throat> or not the basic, basic is the wrong word, the complete knowledge that a personal trainer has in kinesiology and physiology. That should also be there to support your learning and mastering uh, Pilates, which we will do from our uh, side. So this is where we, I think, end. Am I? Yes. So if you are in Gurugram or Gurgaon, NCR, Delhi, Punjab, Haryana, do talk to Ujwal. I'll send you the numbers. Those who are interested. Kerala, of course, Sriju is here. Ujwal is also, I think, here. And Mumbai is Sonia. And you want more details of this course, you are welcome to go to our gayofitnessacademy.com slash Pilates on Mat. That should be enough. Or you, most of you may have my number directly. You are welcome to call me directly. I have no problems. Okay. And we'll be delighted, absolutely delighted to guide you. Now, having with this, I wanted to guys to ask me questions. See if anybody asks me in Malayalam, please translate. Okay, 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 sir. Sure. If there are questions. Of course, one common question is what time can I leave the meeting? What time can I have lunch? No. Any questions? Anuja, Dr. Avlak? No, sir. No, that's Mahesh? Sir. Of course, I'll send you the... Uh, I'll, I'll upload the recording on the YouTube. I'll send you the link also. Okay? Sir, so I just want to ask one question. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say this is ERPS core level. So if you yeah. want to start a career in Pilates, you have to start the first level. No, no, no. This is a four level. level. No, no, it's not. That's a good question. <clears throat> the standard of our course is such that they have given us directly level four. There's nothing called level one, two, three, four. Do you understand? Okay. Our course. Ah, so once you do our course, that is why the, the word uses qualification. Whether it is our personal trainer course or the Pilates course, our certification is known as the qualification. EREPS is just a certi that's EREPS certificate just proves is that is a proof of the fact that our course is internationally of level four. There is no higher level for Pilates. Okay, also for personal training. In Europe, they have made a little bit of difference the, for level five special populations, but we already cover special populations anyway in our personal trainers. So you mm. don't have to do uh, one level. After doing our course, you don't have to do level one, two, three. No, you are directly get EREPS level four. Even EREPS level four is not compulsory. If you are go not, if you're not going out of India, then don't waste your time and money doing uh, uh, Skills India ex RPL exam and uh, EREPS. And that also, for example, as an example, Mahesh, I'll say this. Suppose you do this course now, January to March 2023, and 2025, you want to go to UAE. That time you can do Skills India exam and get the EREP certificate. So it is not compulsory that you should do it now. In fact, even for a percent in a courses, out of 50 students, maybe 10 students or 5 students will do it now. But the others will do it as and when the opportunity comes. Now we do not know what's going to happen. Uh, I hope this COVID is only a scare. It is not a wave. But the way things are developing, you know, people are a little nervous in Mumbai and all that. Generally speaking, at least for people who are traveling internationally, we do not know. I don't. But one thing for sure, <clears throat> Pilates is three things I want to say, last and final. Pilates is one exercise format which suits Indians. Now, many of you here are bodybuilders or powerlifters or weightlifters. 
but 99% of indians are not interested in bodybuilding we are not strength oriented an average client in your gym wants a good figure wants lean muscle mass wants flexibility wants endurance it is as if joseph pilates designed the course for indians number one number two in a place like india where cost of property rent you know rent renting of property is so high during covid most of the gyms collapsed because they were renting out at you know the cost was renting cost was very high but for pilates you don't need more than 10 to 10 or 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet 100 square feet that's more than enough third number three point pilates is one because we give you the videos because we give you the videos your online teaching becomes easier <clears throat> so for example if mahesh you are teaching me online you are in thane i am in mumbai in uh, lokandwala andheri but you are teaching me pilates now there are two ways of teaching you will actually demonstrate lying on the floor and you start demonstrating right but the camera is somewhere laptop is somewhere your mic is somewhere not only that i am supposed to copy you now how do you know i am copying you properly so what you do is you will not you will sit on your chair you will play the video i am giving you i will copy that video and you will then tell me okay dilip are you doing correctly or wrong that is the that is why our students bashir sir will tell you probably he's here i think why our students online training is so successful because we have the content it's like a television serial if you don't have the content what are you going to sell and here is a one it's a, it's a very practical thing you guys should keep in mind it is not the six pack which gets you customers it is the smart teaching that gets you customers right so this videos will help you develop your online training and there's one thing i mentioned in my uh, fitness career section number 3 slide see during covid online training became very popular but today it is blended training where i teach you let us say two days in the gym or studio one day online one day some you know like that so you are able to get that many more customers into your small little 10 by 10 by 10 uh, studio whether it is personal training or pilates you have to earn your income per square foot not per member this is important and because you are sitting in fact i, I, I probably i'll share this with bashir sir and all our students maybe the next seven days i have got I'm, i by god's grace i should get that contract where they want us to train corporate clients across india and i gave them a demonstration uh, last saturday they, they liked it exactly what i'm telling you now you understood what i'm saying mahesh or sriju you are sitting in uh, uh, ernakulam you are in mathane i am here in uh, another place you are going to teach me how can you teach when you are you cannot demonstrate and teach me at the same time so you will play that particular video now for example in weight training we give 500 uh, 580 580 580 exercise videos so for example how to do a bulgarian squat you will play that bulgarian squat video which we have shot and then tell me okay dilip copy that bulgarian squat then you will check the form that is the true online training and pilates i am telling you honestly it is value for money low investment in terms of the fees low investment in terms of uh, time low investment in terms of area that you require You, you, even a phone is enough for you to do and higher income and i i think you always mention that in my creatives across the world not only in india average income of a pilates teacher is 30 to 40% more than a personal trainer the reason is you have to keep talking all the while communication the position of the fingers the arm the arms you know things like that so it's it's a fabulous kind of a thing so certification yes unfortunately certificates are required because there is no other Uh, universal way to prove that you got the knowledge so certification is important and our exams are through the bpsc but they are not exam we are not we don't do exams to fail students unless that student is really zero you know the exam is meant for us to see where we can improve ourselves as a feedback so i don't think we have had, had any problems in yes person training courses sometimes people are afraid to repeat the exam once in a while but in pilates it has never been happened and it doesn't make a difference if you don't know marathi i'm sorry if you do speak only english or only malayalam or only marathi or tamil or uh, telugu it doesn't make a difference as long as you are able to deliver the knowledge
राइट एंड आजकल का टूडेज इंग्लिश अक्रॉस इंडिया इट्स हाफ इंग्लिश हाफ लोकल लैंग्वेज सो इट्स ओके एवरीबडी स्पीक्स ऑल लैंग्वेज राइट यू राइट इन तमिल और मराठी इन इंग्लिश or malayalam on whatsapp in english so that kind of thing is goes on so i think if you see the entire overall perspective pilates and by no wonder the demand for pilates has grown in fact you guys will not believe it in 2009 when franky pagnesi and we toured we went to bangalore or mumbai and of course delhi in 2009 in bangalore there were only two reforms in uh, delhi there was this uh, lady uh, vesna jacob i think vesna jacob yeah Westna had two uh, reformers. That's all. And Mumbai, somebody had one reformer. Just five or six or ten maximum in two thousand nine. Today, everybody wants a reformer. But that's another thing I want to say. Just because ref- people are asking you for reformer Pilates, doesn't mean that you do. You cannot do reformer Pilates now. Otherwise, you'll injure that person. You cannot do your master's degree before doing your graduate degree. And it's a matter of only six months time, including my own daughter. In fact. Uh, Uh, I'm la- I'm laughing when I say this. My daughter also said, "No, no, I want to learn reformer or Pilates." Course. So I'm going to a studio which teaches only reformer. But after one month, she found that she was getting a pain here and pain there. So I said, "Go, as I mentioned, go start with Pilates on mat and then start going up." You know, it's like lifting a five-pound dumbbell in the gym. Then slowly go to ten pounds. Then maybe fifteen. You know, like that. Same thing here. Also, you need to have a progression. And certification is also like that. In fact, in America, particularly. uh they, they don't have all these online classes on this as anita give up in my i'll give up show sure she will remember we just a three or four day direct finished but we are still moved because we follow the european system where things have to be explained in a very methodical way you know uh, america may kya <clears throat> they have they are very strict in their certification program but there what is the rule let the market decide whether you are good or bad but in india because fitness sciences the western fitness sciences are new they were built 25 30 year old bodybuilding has been there for a long time or running has been there for a long time but that's not fitness so fitness as a science is new to us therefore we need to focus on the education part the kinesiology physiology and i'm telling you mahesh in between weight training and pilates most clients will prefer a pilates although weight training is very 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 important whether it's my grandson age 8 or my uh, mother age 97 we must do weight training there's no doubt about it most beautiful form of exercise is weight training dumbbells and barbells but supplement it with pilates because i will go to a fitness trainer or a personal trainer who knows both you know that's how it is have i guy have i given you guys enough headache any questions i don't see any chat nothing has come up on my screen at least any questions nothing uh you can allow me to say something dilip yes yes and it of course uh, yeah i think i had introduced you before you came acha anita yes. ji tanuri of course is one of india's mm-hmm. senior most pilates teachers she's been a good friend of ours well wisher etc etc since 2010 i think so anita please speak yes uh, wonderful in, uh, information and introduction uh, and i think uh, i am in touch with dilip and uh, he is my mentor he is my guide and it's a wonderful person and uh, as far as pilates is concerned uh, i owe all my success and my quality uh, uh, work because of uh, support of dilip and uh, the, um, my master trainer anupama that time she was the uh, master trainer and i think i am the first batch in first india batch. yeah uh, the first batch in india you right the first pilates institute batch in india you right yes <laughs> at house cas yeah yeah <laughs> so uh, one thing i would like to say why you one should do pilates uh, yeah you will get good business good work everything that's fine but first and foremost is your own fitness so yes. 
uh, fit. And as far as the posture and the specifically uh, spinal um, posture is concerned, you get so much of awareness uh, about this. And when you are fit, when you are actu uh, actually focusing good on your core and your posture and everything, you are amazing for your clients as well. You are actually differentiating between a normal trainer and uh, a Pilates Absolutely. trainer. So no all of us are trained for so many other activities, right? But if you are equipping yourself with Pilates knowledge, it is adding on so much of benefit and so much of value creating for your client. So my Pilates client, wherever they go, they just come back to me because they find that uh, you are amazing. And that is just because uh, uh, the way they teach, the way they give the knowledge to express ourselves, to get best from the client, that makes Pilates as a Pilates. Not a kind of any other uh, workout that, oh, you do bicep curl this many and you do push up this and that many, no. So just to take out best and to utilize more muscles, more core muscles to go, uh, go inside out, you have to speak a lot. So when you speak a lot with a purpose, uh, you will just take out best from your client. And that's what it is, uh, Pilates is uh, like uh, meaning for me. And uh, still it is on and I'm really enjoying my Pilates journey. And all the bestest Pilates trainer. And I'm sure with the help and support of Dilip, you all will be <laughs> doing your bestest. Thank you so much, Dilip. Thank you, Anita. God bless. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, Anita is one of the first batch. I'd forgotten you, Nisha Verma. Uh, what, I forget the other name. There are two others. Yeah, the, the, you were all the seniors in Reebok uh, fitness in those days, I think, no? Reebok aerobics and all that. Yes. yes. The first batch. I Nisha started Verma my and... journey with Reebok, uh, Pilates, uh, Reebok uh, aerobics. Yeah. I joined Pilates as well. So the learning is on still. We are learning still. We are learning so many things to learn in fitness. So the, still it is on. <laughs> and definitely Good. you should keep learning and uh, keep spreading the fitness, a quality fitness, you can say. Anita is an interesting person. She speaks English, Hindi, Telugu, Marathi. Any other languages? <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe Punjabi also now. <laughs> nice and, yeah, uh, <laughs> now Ujjara I'm in Gurgaon, Gurgaon, Gurgaon. so <laughs> yes Ajay, any more questions guys do you have huh? sorry <laughs> yeah Rajesh you want to ask a question or is that a bird behind you <laughs> okay uh, Thank you, guys. Any any more questions? Three, two. No questions, sir. <laughs> All done. Yeah. Okay, then let's say bye to each other. Happy New Year, and I hope to see you in the class. Even if you don't join, at least join a course based on certain information. Okay. Uh, we are good. No, no, no doubt about it. We do whatever we do. We do our best. Sometimes we make mistakes once in a while. But we do we try to do as Anita Hassel said, and she's there with us since 2010. So whether it's a personal trainer course or, uh, in fact, when we do it in Gurga, I'll invite her and Ujwal to attend the course. So they, they themselves will tell you what is the difference between what we taught that time and what we teach now, or our personal trainer course, what we teach now and what we're teaching even in 2017, five years ago. It's a lot of difference. We keep developing our. Uh, and last and finally. Uh, I think that crow is crowing the some the crow the bird no is that, that's the crow in the stomach people are getting hungry now <laughs> <laughs> so my last thing is pilates and personal training is a fantastic combination it's a great combination and uh, let's just up to you guys good luck and god bless okay happy new year okay thank you sir bye and happy I, new year, I share everyone. yeah okay, happy and new year, those, sir. Thank like, you. And those who want the link, please WhatsApp me directly. Okay. Or WhatsApp Sriju or uh, Ujwal or anybody else here. We will, and uh, any case, it will go up on the open our YouTube channel. So don't worry. Maybe by tomorrow you'll find it there. And be in touch. God bless. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Oh, one minute. There are, I think there's some chat. One minute.
No, there are two chats. Let me check what the answers are. Oh, no, sir. I just said thanks and happy new year to everybody. So instead of opening oh, wow. the mic. Thank you. Thank you. What is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for attending. Bye-bye. Okay.